Gaben is smiling upon him right now. Range Rax is dead. Of course, just losing one Rax is not that big of a deal. His initiation from Q is completely stopping his track. Oh. Jumping in as well. That Chrono, the Chrono here on to three. They're going to be able to kill the Tiny with the E on this proc. On the two Darkseer jabs. Trying to get some help from 23 Savage. Finally turns it into the void. Trying to take out Insaney, but another Holy prop. shit, 23! Taking so much damage. The false promise is right there, right outside the pan. He should be able to live as a result. And 23 Savage, Nisha getting his second ult off, it looks like. Swashbuck on the other side of the wall as he's pursued and he's blocked in oh, now he's by 23 Savage. A huge slide and Nisha dead for two full minutes. But into the hole! Holy shit! 23 Savage goes! He's controlled for the time being, but he used the time out again. A lot of damage back. His boxy still gonna live some way, somehow. And 23 Savage time walks back to the tier 3. A nice toss back. Zai. Brought back into the fray as Makoto pops his BKB. 23 Savage, he doesn't prematurely. care. Prematurely, you can see their base is actually down on the other side as well, but it's just to creep. Zai's most of the focus here from the side of Talon on these buildings. And you can see. Zai is pushing. Being applied on the other side, how close is he? If the Ancient is fully exposed, can they outpush oh, the Oh, they the TP! Brood they the TP! The, TP. TP. the cancels of the TPs! Can they kill oh the Ancient? Oh my god! No way! Hello? Talon! You better be careful because Zai is coming for your bait! Whoa! And he's win game four! What? <laughs> oh my goodness! Are you serious? He has zero reaction! <laughs> there goes the glimpse. 14 seconds till the disruptors back They're up. Just That'll ignoring general. additional control. Yeah, the sleep is there. They don't Finally even wakes back up, but they keep on going. One tier four down. Now another one. General Exoslam comes in. He's going for Hanskin first and will almost be able to push them down. Hanskin gets away. Glimmer Cave sleep wakes himself up and will be able to get out. There goes the Queen of Pain. Gets blown up, but already to buy back down. 4,000 HP on the throne. Can they actually take this one up in time? Era and Unisafon split on opposite sides of the throne. They've already popped oh, down going to half down. HP. The Era, they're desperately trying to pick up this kill. Will also take out Lip at the side, but oh, Yonas, Jonas. swipe, swipe, swipe. Can he get the last one in? One more Stop. hit. No. 39, 48. Now, without boots to travel, like Era, he needs upgraded boots to travel and to be able to TP onto Yonas some fun. I think that's what he's going for. He's going to sell his AC. He's going to go for this. He's got one. He's going to sell the Battle Fury, too. But Jonas is actually going to get caught before oh, that point. Oh no, Jonas Safan is stopped in his tracks. Danny Major is desperately going for it anyway. He's going to try and blink forward, but the throne is already under attack. Go, and Mage, go. He's going for the throw, but Aloha Dance. He's trying to stop him as best he can. Oh, they're going for it! One more hit! No! no! Eight HP! Eight HP! Yeah, that throne's open, hey? Yep. Okay, Barracks finally being killed by Monkushi. Doppelganger to keep himself safe and a glyph used up by Aurora. I want to defend this for as long as they can because back in the Radiant base, they are losing the throne. Half HP on it. One Yo, Viper could TP there. Right. They've got go on. something. Viper can go in. As quickly as bloody possible. They, they, They're TPing into this, into this Radiant they've base. They've done this, Viper's come back. The throne's exposed. Lauren of Stars going. The glyph is up. Radiant going for tier fours. And oh my god, the base is. The throne in the Radiant base. Jabs. Ollie with Lauren of Stars here. It's going to be a close one, but I think the Dire of Dunn. Dire of The throne has fallen. Oh my god, dude! What a way what a to man. lose! LTD going big or go home! Dude, they go GG! Look at the TP's bottom lane! they already got support! Loader, Admiral Bulldog! Do they turn? Do they turn? Do they rush the GG? Raw in! They've already found Arcade! Arcade goes down! DDC stunned up Sylar! He's just going for kills! The back inside the base! EGM is down! They're going for the throne ranks! And now, the stun on DD! Where is it? The T4s are gone! They have to go back! It's too late! It's too late for our DD! Alliance will take the win here! Loader and Bulldog in through the rear! There's just not enough deep! Sila, he's trying! He's trying! Oh! Oh! 62 minutes! percent backtrack chance. The Lincolns that you behind the BKB. Nothing for the Megas. He's just gonna drop the Chrono. Did not quite catch the Windrunner though. BKB'd up. He's gonna have to settle at least for the Bear. That's not so bad, but he just basically used everything on that first life. And now Navi, sensing blood in the water, goes diving behind the tier 4 towers. Knowledge you stuck inside of the fountain though, the slot, but he's gonna get away. No way. Again, because of the trickster cloak. That's the Navi just trying to escape Zayas. The reacting taser so bloody annoying here. Poor Yatoro will eventually be taken down. Tiny in front of him. Five seconds of the drone. They're hitting the drone. Desperate, just trying to take the darn thing down. No dice here. They will get through Shigetsu as well. And now in trouble is Desperate. He's going to die too. Yatoro on a triple kill doing the unthinkable here. But now the counter initiation and Desperate going on in. No way. 
Yutoro still alive in the fight, but the Hex, another swap, ah no, Yutoro needs to time walk, he time walks in, with the Egg Step, you're an ultra kill for him now, he's gonna turn back, Shigetsu, he won't back for this, and he will go down! No way, Yotaro! He's gonna die, but he has the buyback immediately. And now, Navi being routed. about the Windrunner. There is a the Lone Druid is going, going in, though. He should have an easy kill on Namira here. BKB or not. Down he goes. But the throne. Oh, okay, not yet exposed here on this Radiant side. Tier 4 towers are up. Never. He's gonna go for it here. We'll click on that dire throne. We'll see which one goes down faster. As Melio gonna try and interrupt the Chronosphere, though. Yotaro trying to get it. His, the job done himself. But the Ancient is falling too fast. The base race, I think, Spirit. Yes! They have it! Unbelievable! The base race till the end. Navi, they force it. They get the Megas. They really force it. They commit triple quad buybacks. And they lose the game to go down like that. Unbelievable that's a, finish. That's a cra crazy, crazy ending. Like, I back I available, like but he'll go down and he'll probably be forced to use it. C9 quickly running out of options. Although Envy, here you go, Winter. The back door is real. He gets the mid lane of Barracks and might be able to mega LGD. This could turn into a good old fashioned base race. Envy goes straight for the tier fours. Berserker's call. Misery goes down. Bone seven. It'll be a dieback for him. Not many reinforcements left for Cloud9 to defend. He gets one of the tier four towers. One more still remaining. But LGD, they've got the numbers advantage. They get a tier four tower now as well. Envy. He, he just got a desolate. Uh oh, he just got a desolate. From the enemy shop, he'll go into the tier four as well. It's going to be really close here. Winter C9 trying to defend as best they can. Fata, he's bought back. He's doing what damage he can. Radiant, they still have the clip that stops EE dead in his tracks, but they can't focus the throne themselves. Instead, they have to deal with the heroes. Fata doing a lot of damage. This is going to be damn close. So much on the line here. Eternal Envy might be able to do it to get his team eighth place. LGT, they just want the throw, but they can't. It's Envy. Oh my. Keep an eye out. This game isn't over yet. Rest ready. They don't have the money to buy boots or travel though. What a patient from the Radiant is still And the Lena's TP'd in. Crucial. They're going for the race. Do they have any TP cancels? They are. I mean, are they even aware? Neon, they need to go for this right now. The Ancient is exposed. They have fortified. CDR, he's dealing with it. But the fortification, it's there. Yeah, the sanity. Yowie, they're going to do it. There's no fortification on the title. What can you do? Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like he needs a blink dagger or something to just get himself into better positions because yet again I feel like he didn't need to get caught there. He has the global GA could have sat much further back. But he shouldn't even do anything to be honest. Or oh, double rape on the clinks now. Oh, oh it's a lot of damage. And the arrow MS? No. MS, MS, oh no, five second arrow. We're fine, where's we're the follow-up? They can't fight the drink. And Tiny is going for the base race! You gotta go, go, go! He's, he's, building, go building, building, building. Race, he's going in. Tiny versus for these buildings with MS. They've Tiny got the BKP playing. from MS. He's Tiny got the Legion Desolator. They've actually got it. No way, what? The tier 3 tower top lane is gone. They are fighting without their Batrider. KP, he's been such a problem for IG this whole game. Without KP around, I don't know if they can actually defend this. They're very reliant on Cuckoo landing the biggest black holes of his life. But the thing is, without catching the Sansa, there's no chance of getting these off. Oh. Jump in on Emo. They've cancelled the TP usage of the Storm, but he's happy to fight back. He'll move it onto the puck. Carl, gonna try and Wind Waker away. Does juke out the gods. Raven! Raven's, going for, the Raven's going for the Ancient! Raven's going for the Ancient! The Ancient! Raven! Raven's going right for the head! Black Hole is out! Can they get it done? The Ancient, half HP right now, moving back in. The Idol one's doing all the work. Raven's jumping back in as well. Ancient lower than the half ancient. HP. I think they've got it. What's Too up, good. IG? Raven, they what? may have done it. It seems like they have! Blackless! Bear is on the base, though. I am gonna scout it out for now. He's probably gonna go for the backdoor play as well. He's inside the dire base. He's going for the buildings here. What's Clint's gonna do? He's gonna TP in. We're looking at a base race here. It looks like Gyrocopter going for the radiant base. There's no cliff available. Means all in the dire. They've only taken one tier four. They're going for the race here. Who's gonna win? This is looking good for VG Gaming. Thrown down to about half HP on both sides. Who's it gonna be? It's close. The cliff is there. Radiant IG. That was. Capabilities in terms of defending the high ground. I mean, we have seen Voyboys obviously take two sets of racks, but. It's taken them quite a while. And here we go, straight away with a pick up on Telesrat. Can they kill Susie? She has got the cheese. It's being healed up by the chance of being hexed up as well. There's going to be defensive disruption. And now the side of Boy Boys, they're looking good. They've killed the Lion. Relic's been caught out as well. There's your RP from Mike. Oh, didn't catch anything at all. And now he's, he's having to back off. There's going to be Shadow Grave off the Dragon Knight. Doing a fair bit of damage. And now in comes the second Omni Slash here from the Juggernaut. Oh, the Hex. Oh. Oh, the Hex indeed. Susie trying to find Relic, but now with the Abyssal Blade coming out. Now with the Skew, and there's your second RP from Iron Spike. Catch the other side of the board, but look at this damage. Oh, oh my fear power. The Dragon Knight, the everything. Ultra kill for Relic. 
We talked about the way that Wheel could defend the high ground and how could they let that happen. That was di pretty disastrous with Void Boys. He gets Hex. <laughs> and then every single person oh, on their boy. team lines up for it. And there's a refresher on his team. And he's also eating the moon shells. It's worth noticing. Yeah, so did the Juggernaut, I believe. Oh, did he? Yeah. He did indeed, yeah. They've uh, both had a bit of a munch. And the buybacks come out from Gyrocopter. They're going to go for game here. Oh, they want to finish they're face rushing. They know that there's Yeah, but the tier fours are already dead in Wheel's face. They already glitched. Oh, what? Oh, it's a base race, boys. It's a base it's race. It's going to be really close, oh, actually. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so I think Void Boys lose. Yeah, they lose. They just yeah. got some. You can see the Dire Engine. His health here is not going down nearly as fast as the radius. I think he oh, was going to win. Oh, he oh, 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 no. oh, 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 <laughs> Mid lane. Looks like CTY Fenry in a bit of trouble right now, copping a lot of damage, but he's still tanky enough apparently to walk out. But they're going for Ori now. He's the bigger target. There's the Golem comes in onto two. In fact, it was three HYM. Now Ying is still going for Ori, but the BKB was committed. They will go to the mid max, it looks like. And Lanham will end up dropping. In fact, there's a nice little goal for his death. And what's Paparazzi doing? He is going for the T4 towers, although Faith Beyond is there trying to help out in terms of defending. And they're going to go straight for the Ancient now. Warlock, Lanham, he'll have to buy back Old Eleven, still with no buyback available. Can they defend? This is going to be the strangest boss in the world of PG Gaming 2 that win this one. E-Home still going. Now the TP is from Faith Beyond, Ori. Need to do some kind of damage. There's one, two, four, gone. CT5 is dealing so much here with the Mantis Fall and the Fury of Flames again. Ying still ship his guard. And they're actually going to get this, it looks like. The Ancient is dropping. There's no defense coming out. Where's the damage? Where's the control? They want Pepperazzi. Who's going to win this first race? Oh, Pepperazzi, he's going to make it. What? Team 4 Towers versus the GG push coming out here from BG Gaming. One They've got to go for the Team 4 Towers. Now, fortification of all for BG Gaming. And as far as uh, C9 don't, they don't actually have fortification. Now do they go for the racks? They Diamond go for the one hole. Just hold. Clock oh, shot. Misses hook. Bone 7. He's running himself in. He's getting towers. shredded apart. He does have buyback. Ooh, they're not doing the job out. though. They're not going for the towers. Back inside the dive base. They're already through one tier fours. Sarala. Now he goes in. Envy. Hawks on to his Tyler. The Ravage will go for the Hammer Fish of the Fortress. It's the Dire side. Half-Life. 1,500. It's over! C9 will win! and force out the deciding game. It's game. just 28 seconds till Tinker is up. A lot of damage can be done. Alive. The CK has his Phantasms up. They're going for the tier four towers. There's no mass open wars. Just glimpsing one away. Put the wall up, but CK can oh. reach. The blade is long enough. The tier four towers are dropping 14 seconds until you have the Tinker up. Glyph will buy him that little bit of extra time. They probably could have done that with the three hits. Is anyone going to use it? Mass open wars are down. The skewer pulling one back. Gone fully in. They're up to the racks. They're gonna look to try and go for the base with that rapier. They're gonna look to try and look to go for it. They've only got a few seconds left. Pilot eyes look towards the ice bar's not gonna connect. They try for it with this rapier. Dendy takes one tip four. They're only the second tip four. The fortification will come out. Universe on the side with a hex straight away. Senior's gonna work for it as well. The base. The fortification is dead. Arbet is in the base. Arbet's in the base too. The rapier. It's a throne race. It's a throne race. Can he do it? 